Hello everybody and welcome back to Fate Extra. I'm Kiru Khan and thank you for joining me. I should have done that sooner, but eh. <coughs> Sorry for the coughing. Master, did you hear me yesterday when I told you that knowledge is key in fighting your enemy? For that reason, you've got to drain the campus of information every single day. When you enter the arena, you forfeit any further investigation for that day. Understand? Humans do not replicate their actions, so what you miss one day is gone forever. So, make a habit of investigating campus and listening to others before entering the arena. Yeah, I got it. I see. Good. Then let's begin the investigation. Quit telling me what to do, Vegeta! Ah! That's the wrong direction! Let's try to turn down the volume and <laughs> I started turning it up because I'm a clumsy idiot. <laughs> that guy won't be back next week. It looks like that guy managed to start a ruckus right off the bat. We might be able to pick up some information. Let's head over there now, Master. <coughs> Yay! Let's go pick on Shinji. I managed to track down Shinji. It looks like he's talking with someone right now. Have you been inside of the arena yet? Interesting place, isn't it? I thought it was amazing at first, but it's really pretty primitive. It's like an ocean pulled from a story. I even saw a master who managed to summon Armstrong. Sorry, I was just messing with you. I dig the sea theme. Overall, the game's pretty well done. What's this? You actually managed to summon a decent servant then? Asia's premier hacker, Shinji Mato? You know, I may have had to take crap from you in the past, but this time the winner is me! With her armada to back me up, I'm invincible. Nothing you can do will even be able to touch me. Uh huh. You must be pretty confident to give out information about your servant to an enemy, Mato. That elegant voice can only be Rin Tosaka's. Only she can crush Shinji's pride with a word. Shinji's face goes bright red as he suddenly realizes how big of a mistake he just made. Eh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. One-sided fights bore me, so think of this as a gift. But is it really? I might just be lying. You might want to forget what I said. That is true. A single word... Well, a single word would never expose a servant's true name, after all. However, a class that controls an armada and is tied to a ship will thin out the candidates some. Um, how will she attack? Bombardment or frontal assault? It'll definitely be physical in nature. <coughs> well, I guess the only thing left for me is to prepare a great many physical barriers. Shinji's face goes from bright red to a terrifying shade of blue right before my eyes. Once you learn something about an enemy servant, you can begin to make plans to defeat them. If both sides are strong, but only one side plans, the results of the battle would be obvious. So that's what they mean by knowledge is power. I understand perfectly now. Oh, one more thing. I wonder if the Invincible Armada might be relevant to anything. I mean... Others will start making references to that, right? Won't that just piss off your servant? Thanks for the info, guys! Well, whatever! Knowledge means nothing if you can't do anything with it. There's a good chance that you and I will never even have to face each other. With that final pathetic attempt at a comeback, Shinji turns and starts walking away. And of course, he is heading right in my direction. As I wasn't hi hiding, Shinji sees me right off. Why? You. You weren't there the entire time, were you? Were you? <laughs> well, it's not like you can stop the invincible arm. Uh, I mean, my servant. Whatever. My victory is all but assured. Catch you later. And, huh, try not to disappoint me. It seems there are a great many masters who don't understand the stakes involved. It's as the Ice Queen said, that boy has no clue how important information is in this war. The guy's an idiot. 
Anyway, you can find information in both the arena and on campus. From now on, be sure that you don't sleepwalk through your investigations, okay? Got it! So <coughs> Good. I said this before, but obtaining information on your enemy is the key to victory. Be sure to thoroughly search the arena and campus for clues. It's better to be obsessive than dead. There will be information that is only available on certain days, so pay attention at all times. That was an amusing conversation. <coughs> Maybe I should try voicing Archer in a uh, Vegeta voice. About the Invincible Armada, the name given to the Spanish Navy during what is known as the Age of Exploration. With over 100,000 ton ships and 65,000 crew members, it almost subjugated all of England. Through the might of its navy, Spain was seen as the kingdom on which the sun will never set. That was a very helpful. <laughs> I think that was a reference to, um, Sengoku Basara. Oh, that, that was actually story dialogue. Oopsie daisy. <coughs> His servant doesn't look much like an Old West outlaw, but then what in the world could his servant's identity be? In any case, I have to return to my own investigation. I really don't know enough yet. I guess it wasn't really story dialogue, but it kind of was. What about you, Issei? Ha <laughs> ha! Story of my life. Also, thank you guys so much for watching this so much. I mean, so much, so much, so much, so much, so much. I need some more vocabulary words. But really, I'm glad you guys are enjoying this. I mean, for this channel, it, something like 10 views is just, like, mind-blowing. <coughs> also, I heard Kaiji Tang's Vegeta. It was... Pretty good. Bit like, uh, Chris Sabbath's, but I, I think his acting is better, personally. Um, I don't think there's anything in here. Just Sakura. Hi, Sakura. Whoa! Oh my god, what happened there? Oh my goodness! Did you guys see the frame rate tank there? I am so sorry about that. I don't know what caused that. Okay, I can't use that yet. That's where you power up your servant after getting level ups. So we're gonna just run through here and clear crap up. God, this game has superb sound. This is the first time I've actually listened to it with my headphones on. I mean, outside of the previous recordings, but I mean, this playthrough has been on my, uh... This, this is the first time I've played through the whole game with my headphones on. I've never used it before I started this LP. And that was just to prevent extra sound issues. Anything interesting to say? Yep. Yes, I should. <coughs> so I'll probably cut most of this out. I'll, I'll keep it recorded, but I don't intend on really showing you guys this since it's probably going to be mostly grinding.
生プログラムの中にも気象師はいるらしい。Okay, I think this is a good place to continue, even though it's the end of the episode. Oh man, I hope I remember to make some of the edits in my head. That's a perfect excuse for yakety sacks. And he's sleeping on the job. Slacker. God, he's loud. Oh, that, uh. That was a pretty short one, wasn't it? So thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you come back for the next one.